Il Longella. This is the park closest to where I live, where I go walking. A nice path beside the stream, with not much water. They call it a torrent, but that's an exaggeration, except when it pours down with rain. However, there's enough for some fish. They're called cavedani, or Italian chub, I think. I asked some fishermen one day what they hoped to eat, and I understood canederli, a kind of stodgy dumpling dish. Only later did I realize they were talking about cavedani, the fish, not the dumplings. It's hard to believe that this can overflow, flood, inundate, burst its banks. In fact, it never has. It has never overflowed, flooded or burst its banks, yet they cut down the trees as if they were a danger. What an unhealthy, demented, psychopathic concept. I would almost say criminals of creation, fascists of flora, Nazis of nature. They took 10, 20, 30 years to grow, 40 years or more for some, wiped out in seconds, with very effective chainsaws, as if they were nothing at all. And now they no longer give us oxygen. They no longer absorb carbon dioxide. They no longer give us shade on hot days. With their branches and fronds, they no longer offer shelter to fauna. They are no longer roosts for birds, a hiding place for them. There can be no more blossoms, and without flowering, there is no pollen or nectar for bees and other insects. Few animals have the courage to romp and frolic in the water. Now they are too exposed. There is no place to hide. Sometimes I see a kingfisher whiz back and forth along the Longella. I saw it today too. It no longer knows where to rest. There, you see, a little egret. It's flying off. Without trees, it sees me from afar. It sees everything even the cruel and brutal soul that we humans have. And on with the cutting, the severing, the sawing, the chopping up. Away with these trees, away with these trees. They are a danger to humanity. And then they complain about COVID. And they don't understand where it comes from. Just look at the destruction. We are the servants of the machines. That is the problem. To make clearing away easier, they have to drive up and down the banks without any hindrance, with their armed tractors. Chop up, cut up, slice up, away with everything. What remains when the trees are gone? Yet the lady who lives in that house has never seen a flood, an inundation, a breaking of the banks, and she has lived there for more than 70 years. <laughs>